Forrest Gump. This is, without question, one of my favorite movies of all time. This came out in 1994. I saw it in the theater, and I have just loved it so much ever since then. Definitely one of the all-time greatest films uh, ever for me. Um, much deserving of its best picture win. Tom Hanks is awesome in it. The story is uplifting. It's encouraging. And it's just fantastic. I mean, it's a film I can always put in and always enjoy no matter what still to this day. So when I was in, in Half Price Books about a month ago, I came across this, the novelization. Now, I had no clue that this was originally a book. I don't know how I didn't know that, but I did not know that. But this book was written in 1986 by Winston Groom. And also, there was a sequel, which came out after the movie. I guess the author went back and did a sequel after the success of the film. Um, but I sat down last week and I read this. What were my thoughts on this? Well, let's get into that. Um, and this is going to have spoilers in it, guys, because I'm sure most of you watching this has seen this movie. I mean, come on. Uh, so I'm just going to talk about everything. I'm not going to worry about spoiling anything. So if you don't want to spoil, turn it off now. So the first thing I have to say is Forrest Gump as a character is vastly different in this novel than he is in the film. All of the lovable charm of Tom Hanks' Forrest Gump is non-existent in the novel characterization. Uh, he is much more Southern in his talk. Uh, he, he loves to say shit all the time. Uh, he's more aggressive. I mean, he's not really an aggressive person, but he's just more aggressive in his actions and things that he does. He smokes pot, <laughs> um, and he's just he's just different. It's just so different. Now, uh, the basic, uh, very stripped down skeletal structure of the story is here. Uh, but I think whoever wrote the movie, I don't know if Robert Zemeckis wrote it or not. I'm not even sure. I'm sure he probably didn't. I know he just directed it. But whoever wrote this just took the very basic structure and turned it into an infinitely better story for the movie. This is a prime, a very rare example, I should say, of where a movie is a hundred times better than its source material of a novel. It's very, very rare for that to happen, but this is a prime example of this. This is the one I'll always reference as saying, well, they can be better <laughs> movies, that is. So, you know, the things from the movie here, you know, that's in this that, that the movie uh, has uh, Jenny is in this Bubba's in this Lieutenant Dan is in this his mom's in it uh, he has a kid with Jenny all that stuff but basically how all of that stuff happens is totally different the way he meets Jenny's different the way he meets Bubba's different um, the way he uh, <clears throat> goes to the war is different um, and then when he is over in the war, <clears throat> he gets out, and of course, yeah, he does play ping pong, he does meet President Johnson, all that stuff's there. But then it starts, you know, and like I said, there's a lot of little different things there that they change it up, but that's typical, you know, from novel to a movie. But then it starts getting into things that's like, wow, no wonder they cut this shit out of this movie would have been up for the Razzie Awards. Uh, he, he ends up joining Jenny, Jenny's band, which is called the Cracked Eggs, and that's where he starts smoking pot like crazy. They sign a record deal, they record an album, they go on tour. Well, they end up breaking up. Forrest goes to a um, anti-war rally, takes his Congressional Medal of Honor, throws it and hits a, a general in the head or something. He gets arrested. And when he's in jail, they find out, you know, that he's like this, he's an idiot savant guy. You know, he's considered an idiot and dumb, as they call him constantly, but he's actually really smart. So they say, okay, here's what we're going to do. We'll send you to NASA. And it will take away from your jail time. I'm thinking, what? So they send him to NASA. He becomes an astronaut. He goes into space with another woman and an orangutan. And the orangutan starts tearing up the, the uh, spaceship. So it crash lands into this remote jungle. They all get uh, kidnapped by cannibals. And then he's stuck there for four years. After that, he becomes a professional wrestler with Lieutenant Dan as his manager. I mean, guys, I'm not making this shit up. It's, it, it, I was totally like, what in the hell am I reading? You know, Normally, I would quit reading something like this because it was bad. It's poorly written, and it's just so preposterous. It's unbelievable. Um, but I just, it had that train wreck appeal to it. I had to see how ridiculous it got. 
it's just it, it's not a good book guys and thankfully it's not very long it's only like 247 pages so it's not very long but this book sucks this is a terrible book <laughs> i gave it a one out of five on goodreads it's just god awful and i and you know i want to read this at some point at first i was really excited to read both but after this i'm like man i don't know uh but i'm 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 interested in seeing how the movie character of Forrest Gump could possibly bleed over into this. I've heard he's the same as in this. I don't know, but I'm going to eventually read this. I know it's about him and his son after uh, the Bubba Gump Shrimp Company goes belly up. Uh, they move to New Orleans, and I, you know I, I'm not going to be in any rush to get to that. But anyway, guys, uh, that's pretty much it for Forrest Gump. This book is terrible. Um, fans of the movie are going to be disappointed in this. I don't see how anybody could think that this is better than the movie. This is the one example of that where I think pretty much everybody would agree the movie blows this away in every regard. They took a preposterous and ridiculous story and turned it into something amazing like this. Um, but this guy got lucky. Winston Groom got lucky because this book would have been totally lost in obscurity if it wasn't for that movie. And now I know there's a reason why um, I didn't know that this was a novel. <laughs> I, I totally understand that now. So guys, that is Forrest Gump. Like I said, a one out of five. Terrible book. I do not recommend it. It's just bad. So that's it for now, guys. Have a good one. Later.